Fashionistas often say such and such color is universally flattering, but when you buy said color and it looks horrific, you know that is not the case. So what is your true color? Well, Emmy Award winning stylist David Zyla and author of Color Your Style is with us to help us figure that out. Welcome. Thank you for having me. So you're saying that black and white is not universally flattering? You know, there's nothing that is universally flattering in color. We all have such distinct coloring. And my idea is that if you honor the colors found in your eyes, hair, and skin, you're just going to glow. You know, you're going to get that compliment. You're going to feel confident. Um, it's really the best way to approach color and fashion. Right, because there's so many options, there's so many trends, there's so many colors out there, it's hard. It's very hard, and I mean, just navigating the stores, you know, hoping that something's gonna jump off the rack on you and look amazing and, and all of that, it doesn't happen. It doesn't. And so my idea is if you know um, what colors look best on you, when you go shopping, you're only gonna look for those colors. So how do we figure out what our colors are? You have some tests we can do. I Everyone do. can do these at home I with do, us together. I do, indeed. <laughs> you can try this at home. Yes, you can, <laughs> and it is safe. <laughs> we encourage it. Um, so two of the colors that I talk about in my book um, are the romantic color, which is your version of red, okay. and your dramatic color, which is like your version of blue. And the romantic color is actually found by pinching your fingertip. Okay. Um, so, so if we pinch we your fingertip, right. and I'm just going to show some of these um, colors against it. So if we look at a color like this against your fingertip yeah. and look at your skin, it goes a little cold. It's a little Do you harsh. see how yeah. your skin isn't terribly harmonized? Barbie and pink doesn't work for me. Not so good. And this one, not <laughs> even more. So oh, no. yeah, not, not that good. But then when we take something like this, mm -hmm. Um, which is like a deep burnt rose color. Yeah. Do you see how you glow and how your skin looks really healthy against it does. that? It does, it is, it does. So that's how you find that color. And then if you just go up your hand slightly, okay. we can find your dramatic color. Dramatic, we have a so, plan for the yeah, dramatics on this show. We love this. <laughs> yes, you do. And and so the so dramatic you the color, veins? you look at the vein color. And so that you see um, in your veins, we really see like these beautiful corn flowers and coincidence, you're wearing it right now. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Look at how I did that. I am wearing the color I'm supposed to be wearing you for dramatic. You are. <laughs> but like if we look at something like this, blues, do you see yeah. it's it's too cold. Yeah. You need more of this cornflower color. It's more you. and not as the greens, not as much green. Not so much for your dramatic, it's definitely more more blue. Tea, more blue. blue exactly. Blue. And then tell me what about with the eyes, with mm -hmm. our eyes, matching our eye color or not matching our eye color. You know what? I encourage matching your eye color, but I also have to warn people don't pull something out from your eye that doesn't make your skin look really good. Okay. So if all of a sudden you're pulling out a golden fleck and your skin is not looking quite as good and you're wearing a little bit more makeup mm -hmm. or a different makeup, it's probably not right. So I would go with the lightest color in your eye or the darkest color in your eye. And that's really going to make it pop out. Exactly. And what about trends? If we see a uh, day glow green. I was wearing that right. earlier, which I love, and it's so fun. It's great. But if see that color maybe isn't flattering for you, should you not wear it as a dress and wear it as an accessory instead? You know, one shouldn't follow every trend. But if you say I really want to wear that trend, it, it it really reminds me of some part of my life that I'm very fond of, um, and or you're really attracted to it, and you wanna you wanna honor the trend. Right. I would say do it in an accessory, like a handbag, maybe a shoe, mm -hmm. but something that's not close to your face. Just keep it from like waist down. Very good, waist down. very good example, yeah. Thanks so much, David. You can pick up a copy of his book, Color Your Style, at your choice book retailer.